I don't know why, but for some reason a lot of people voted for Firehaven of all islands. So I guess that's what we're doing today. This one may end up being a shorter episode simply because there isn't much to say about Firehaven in general. So Firehaven is weird. The island had a huge amount of potential with the idea of bringing back the fire monsters and having it be a happy get together, and there are tons of elements that drive it in that direction. However, its execution tends to be a bit of a mess when taken into situations like this. Some people really like it, and some people really hate it. Where do I lie? Well, you'll see shortly. Like always, we'll be doing the bottom three first, since these ones in particular are really something else. The third worst is the returning element itself, Kana. While usually a really good monster on all of its islands, Firehaven stands out like a clown at a funeral. There's one huge glaring issue with Kana on this island, and that is the fact that it is way too flippin' loud. I have no idea what happened for this to happen, but someone somewhere really screwed up. Although, being honest, if it wasn't so loud, it'd still not really be anything special. Firehaven as a whole has really boring chords, and Kana in particular is no help to this given the fact that it plays one note for like 80% of its entire track. All in all, Kana on this island is just dull and lifeless. Not a good first impression for its return. Second worst is once more our favorite seven bootleg whack-a-moles, the Dipsters. While in the past I've said bad things about these Tic Tacs, it never has been more true than in this instance. Dipsters on Firehaven are the worst Dipsters by a mile, and the fact that they were added in the first place is a stain on BBB's reputation. Why are they so bad though? Well, the simplest answer I can give is because their composition sounds like a cat walking across a keyboard. It's almost as if the composer had a long night, hit a bunch of random notes and said, yeah, that works, and left it as it is. It strikes me as a painful joke that the dipsters can be this bad when on the surface they seem so easy to compose. I just can't wait until we're finally done with every island these dipsticks are on so we can finally have a bit of diversity in the bottom three because this is honestly getting a little repetitive. The worst monster is honestly one I have no ill will against personally, it's just one I can't overlook as the worst. Akin to Magpie, this monster's vocal performance ranks as some of the worst things BV has ever done in the game. And if you couldn't tell, by this point, it's Gobbledygord. I want to start by saying I do like this monster in broad terms. I think its design is quirky and its sound is... funny. But funny ain't the way you want to end a song like this. Its placement is so absolutely perplexing that I can't understand how they possibly could consider it for even a millisecond without it being a twisted joke. Its overly enthusiastic voice has a wildly unfitting rhythm for the others that play, and not only that, but its mixing is just as bad as Kana's, making it way too loud compared to everything else. You can really tell that the person who voiced it didn't really have a good foothold on their musical abilities, since it just comes off as very awkward and ill-fitting. Dishonorable mentions are the following. Potbelly is really, really repetitive, and the fact that it plays at the end, which is in a different key, mind you, really grinds my gears. Honestly, fur corn on this island doesn't really sound that good, and for the life of me, I can't seem to understand why. Reedling missing a note is not quirky. It isn't full of personality. It is not cute. It does not make it better. Everyone needs to stop saying that before they do it again. Well, those bottom really just suck harder than a vacuum behind schedule, and I just want to talk about the best three so I can get that bad taste out of my mouth. The third best monster is Cybop, and finally we get to talk about Cybop. Boasting one of the most unique voices in all of MSM makes it hard to do Cybop poorly, and little to none are as expertly crafted as the one showcased here on Firehaven. Honestly, the best way I can really describe Cybop on Fight Haven is that it's just fun. It's fun to sing, it's fun to compose, and it's just fun to listen to. Before Gobbledygord came along and turned the ending into its best impression of amateur chalkboard scratching, Cybop was the perfect way to end the song. It's just scattered away its little ditty while Shrub helped it with its rhythm. A truly relaxing way to end a song on a high note. Second best monster is another monster I'm so glad we finally get to talk about, Stog. 
Some could say it's cheating to put stock here since 90% of what it plays isn't truly a composition but instead just a layer of filters and effects that form a sound, and to that I say go away, let me have my fun. I don't care how little effort something needs if its sound is as good as Stogs is. Its sound is just really funky and makes me want to get up and dance, which not many sounds do. Pair that with going perfectly with everything else that is in the song, and you've got an easy monster to rank as some of the best in the entire game. So personally, the number one pick was not hard for me to pick out, and I was glad when I heard that the others agreed with me on this one. Flugel is my personal second favorite monster in the entire game, only beaten by Wisp. When I saw the trailer, I was honestly a little worried about how they would handle Flugel, considering it was only on two islands prior, and I gotta say I was more than relieved once I heard it. Flugel on Firehaven may be the best it's been yet, with a ton of stuff going for it that just raises it higher and higher. The notes it plays are just so perfectly placed that it gives me this huge grin every single time I listen to it. Overall, Flugel is just a monster I can never see any fault in, and every single island it is on it is ranked as some of the best it has to offer. The honorable mention is as followed. Yes, honorable mention. The only real notable mention is Repetillo, simply because its rhythm is swanky and the fact that its main percussion makes it really fun to bop to. I mean, I wanted to put Tree here because I love it, but I was told not to, so just consider this an honorable mention for the honorable mentions. Well, that's Firehaven. To be honest, it's probably the best island we've done so far, so good thing I came this early, because if it was any later, I'd never be able to say that. I'm gonna be honest, this video was hard to pull together because Firehaven as a whole is just really, really boring. When we did the podcast portion of the production, we barely had anything to say on anything since the things we mentioned in the video are the only things of note on the entire island. Any addition they added ended up just messing it up further and things aren't really looking that great for it going forward at this point. Definitely not the worst song out there, but it's just painfully average to the point where I'm glad this is over. I'm gonna try to get these videos out bi-weekly so we can get to the fun stuff faster, and so far things are picking up pace. Don't forget to vote what island you want to see next, and just to let you know, I'm banning Water Island as a possibility simply because Weirdos could be right around the corner and I don't want the video to be outdated directly after I make it. Well, that's all in this video, and I'll see you next time. Okay, I'm gonna put Firehaven in B tier. It's like the tier list is coming along, but I really want to see you guys vote for an island that could make it into ARS. I'm tired of talking about the bad stuff.